Before beginning any repairs, choose a clean, clear area to perform the work. Lay out the replacement parts and compare with the old parts. The internal parts of the bearing carrier consist of snap rings, stainless steel pump shaft, seals and O-rings, bearings and a bronze seal holder. Remove the hydraulic motor, motor case, O-ring and motor shaft key. Place a container under the carrier and tilt the assembly and drain out the hydraulic oil. Remove the digger impeller. The impeller has right hand threads. Remove the bottom strainer and sieve housing as a unit from the bottom of the volute. Separate the volute from the bearing carrier by removing the mounting bolts. Remove the stub shaft and washer. Remove the impeller and key. Remove the flinger. Remove the bottom stainless snap ring. Remove the bronze seal holder, the mechanical seal unit, and the inner O-ring. Remove the upper snap ring. Press out the shaft and bearing assembly. Press the bearings off the shaft. Inspect all parts for excessive wear and replace. Before assembly, dry fit all parts to be sure there are no burrs, defects, or other problems that could affect a smooth assembly. Be sure to lubricate and slip fit parts with either white lithium grease or STP. Press the upper and lower bearings onto the shaft. Press the shaft and bearing assembly into the bearing carrier housing. Install the top snap ring into the groove in the carrier. Place the carrier on the workbench with the motor mount facing down and install the outer O-ring seal in the carrier cavity. Clean the mechanical seal with mineral spirits before assembly. Remove the factory shipping rubber protective coating. Install the three-piece mechanical seal. Use white grease or STP to lube the seal. Install the outer dirt seal, lip seal, with the lip facing toward the impeller. Install the O-ring in the outer groove on the seal holder. Install face for the mechanical seal into the seal holder. This goes on the side opposite the three puller holes. Install the seal holder. While keeping pressure on the seal holder, insert the stainless bottom snap ring. Install the flinger. This lays on top of the snap ring. Install the impeller shaft key and install the impeller. Install the stub shaft washer and thread the stub shaft onto the main shaft. This uses standard right hand threads. Tighten the stub shaft with a wrench on the flats of the shaft while blocking the main impeller from turning. Bolt the sieve housing and strainer unit to the bottom of the volute. Install the bottom digger impeller onto the stub shaft. This uses standard right hand threads. Set the pump head upright. Fill the carrier with the same type of oil that is being used in the main hydraulic system of the power unit. Fill to the lower edge of the top bearing. Install the O-ring seal around the bottom of the hydraulic motor. Install the specially modified D&D hydraulic motor onto the bearing carrier. Take care to be sure that the shaft key stays in place. Bolt the motor to the bearing carrier. The pump is now assembled and ready for testing. We hope that this video has answered any questions that you might have regarding startup procedures and pump head repair issues that may arise from day in and day out use of our equipment. For any and all other questions, please feel free to contact our pump service department and look for our new product developments on our website 
at ddpumps.com.